Okay guys, I just came home from being productive and I'm going to be recording this video to be even more productive. God, I wish Notion can make me more productive. Wait, maybe, is Notion making me productive? Give me five seconds and I will try to answer you to that question. Okay, so to answer this question, let me go back to my own story since I started using Notion. This will also be helpful regardless of the point in which you are in your Notion journey, because like this, you will be able to see what's ahead of you. I'm gonna separate this journey in four different stages. And the first one is the discovery stage. This is the point in which I just discovered Notion and I started to ask myself, how have I lived without this app before? Everything else felt outdated, so I just started to migrate all my data from Evernote, Todoist, and all other apps into Notion. I started learning about blogs, template buttons, databases, but I still didn't really understand what the relations and the rollups did. They look pretty powerful though. But during this whole phase, I was being utterly unproductive. I was spending way too much time tweaking Notion and not so much time being productive. But don't worry because this was just a phase. And in my case, this was one week. And by the way, this is when most people give up on Notion because let's be real, Notion is a little bit overwhelming at first. So if I would have been asked by then whether Notion was helping me to be productive or no, the answer would have been no. But it was super fun. Let's continue the journey over to the second stage, which is the binging phase. And this is the phase when, oh my God, I discovered that YouTube is full of Notion tutorials. So I was watching them all. Yes, all of them. And this led me to incorporating ideas from other creators into my own system. I also downloaded some templates and copied parts of the templates into what I was building. And finally, I started to learn about formulas, relations, and rollups, and I was using them quite often. So all in all, this got me to a system that I was already able to use, which allowed me to start being productive again. This phase, by the way, lasted around two months. And now in retrospect, this could have been done much faster had I bought any Notion course, but I didn't know of any course by then. And this led me to the third phase, which is the development phase. So at the beginning of this phase, I already had more or less my full system already set up and I was using it daily. But this was a time in which I started to develop all the extra stuff, such as a personal knowledge management system, personal dashboards, a finance manager, a CRM, which by the way, I have videos on all of them on my channel, so you can check them out after this video and also subscribe if you want to see more of them. But all of this came very gradually because I was no longer watching so many YouTube videos and I started to build each of these mini systems when I felt that I was needing them. So this will be an advice for you. Don't try to run and try to build everything from the get-go. Just allow some time and build things whenever you start needing them. So now that my system was a little bit more stable, this allowed me to focus much more on the real work that I needed to do. And remember, one of the best ways to develop a mature system is just by using it and finding its shortcomings. Because for example, by using my system, I realized that I was always forgetting to change the status of some of my achieved outcomes. And I fixed that by adding an extra step in my monthly review. But this, I wouldn't have been able to foresee when I was building the system itself. So I came to this realization by using the system. And just by using it, you will turn a system into your system. So after using this system for around two or three months and building microsystems within it, I enter in the fourth stage, which is the maintenance phase. And this is when Notion starts to shine. I don't spend virtually any time tweaking my system anymore. Everything is already in its place and I can just use it and reap the benefits of all the development that I did. It saves me time. It tells me what I need to do every day. It gives me perspective of how my life is going, how my finances are going, when I need to reach out to my friends so they don't forget me, how my finances are going. Well, it basically does everything for me. So now the only thing that I needed to do was just to maintain my system and keeping it clean and not messy, which is just done by my weekly and monthly reviews. 
And that is it. This is the only thing that I do to maintain my system. Therefore, the time invested in tweaking Notion drops dramatically almost to zero. And now this is the phase where I'm gonna be in for the foreseeable future. Small tweaks will come, of course, if something in my job will change, so I will have to incorporate that into Notion. But now is when I start to earn back all the time that I have invested in the past and that I will continue to save time the more that I use this system. So if you ever feel, wow, man, Notion is taking me so long to set it up and to make it work for me. So don't worry, because I've been there, but I know that in the end, that investment pays off. So coming back to the question from the beginning of the video, is Notion making me productive? So the answer will be yes, definitely. I know that I wouldn't be able to operate in my business the way that I do it if it wasn't for Notion. I just had to trust the process and continue learning. Okay, so if you were curious on how I keep my Notion clean, you can check this playlist over here that contains two videos, one for my weekly review and another one with my monthly review, that I'm sure that it will give you a ton of ideas on how this process really looks like. I can tell that those are the core parts of my system and that without them, my Notion will be a mess. Okay, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and as always, hasta la próxima.